Hi, you're with Chandi, Pat Goodley once again, and in this video, I'm going to talk about a very interesting problem, which is where I have to convert the dates from an American format, which is uh, MMDD, to an Indian format, which is TDMM. This is also one of the problems that a lot of people ask me, so why don't you take a look. So here we have a dates column. The dates are starting from the 1st of Feb. They go on, and I have the last date as 1st of December. Now, December being the 12th month is okay, but as soon as the month becomes 13th, which is an invalid month, the dates start to appear as a text. And they kind of go on until the end, and then we have the 31st. Now, obviously, if you kind of take a look at this entire column, this entire column, the dates are not in the correct format. And these are actually January dates, right? So these are all January dates. And of course, in the US format, because the first part of the date is the month, the second part of the date is the date itself and the third part is the year. But since my laptop accepts the date in the Indian format DDMM, it doesn't really work with all of these dates where the month is 13 because that becomes an invalid date. Although these are also invalid dates because they are not February dates or March dates, these are all actually January dates, right? So since 1st of December actually can be written in two ways, it can be written as 1st of December or 12th of January, it actually accepts that as a date format. So how do we actually kind of bring all of these dates into the correct format? When I say correct format, I mean to say this format, which is where these all dates belong to the month of January. So 2nd Jan, 3rd Jan, 4th Jan, and they go up right until the 31st of Jan. Now, you must feel that we have worked with this kind of problem before where I taught you an example which is where we use the feature of Power Query to convert dates into a local format and we converted that into English US and everything worked fine. Let's just go try it out and let's just also see carefully that where the problem is slightly different than what was discussed before. All right. So I'm going to maybe take this uh, date column and uh, go to data from table range and pull this into Power Query. All right, so you can see that already one change type step has been applied. Maybe I can just delete that and I can apply another change type and I can say, hey, these dates are actually going to be a date format, but not my local computer's date format. It's going to be English United States. All right, so I'm going to come to ABC123. Let me just try a different way of converting those dates into a US format. So earlier we were going to using local and that's a long way because it just shows you a very long list and you have to pick English US from there. Okay, I'll just show you another thing. So convert them into a date format. And obviously some dates are going to give you an error because they were text and 13th cannot be the month. So it will obviously give you an error. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in this formula, you can see that the dates have been converted into a data type of date. But which state? Your laptop state, right? Your local computer state so I'm just gonna maybe come inside of the bracket but make sure that I'm outside of the curly bracket put a comma and then in the last part of the formula which is actually a culture culture simply means that do you specifically want to adopt any other country's uh, data type so I'm gonna say it's gonna be English US so you can see that EN has been written in small and then US has been written in capital with a dash in between now when I confirm this, everything works absolutely fine. So this has been, this is the same thing as using local. Well, I don't just don't have to go through the long list of different countries and stuff. All right. Now, why don't we actually take a look at this particular column? You can see that everything seems fine now, but if you carefully take a look here, it's 13th of Jan, 14th of Jan, so far so good. But if you take a look at the dates from the start, it's still 1st of Feb, 1st of March, 1st of April. That means that when the data was loaded, if you just take a look at the source step, if when the data was loaded, the data was loaded in a preset data type of ABC123. You can see that Power Query did recognize that some of these are dates and dates are nothing but numbers for Power Query or Excel. It did recognize that some of these are dates and converted them into numbers or dates, right? And then the rest of them are text. Hence, you got the data type as any, which is ABC123, right? It could be a number, it could be a text. When you applied the date format of English US, only which dates changed? Only those dates changed, which were actually a text, right? So these dates were text. Now, this you're going to run into this problem obviously whenever you have a date column where you have mixed dates in mixed format some of them are in ddmm mmdd now obviously you are going to run into this problem especially when some of the dates are correctly identified as a date i mean you can see that some of the dates were identified as a date and some of them are as text because 13th cannot be a month so power query converts that into a particular text type 
Now, when you convert that into like a US format, you're going to run into problems because only dates which were actually stored as a text will get converted into US format and not the other ones. So let's just see how can we get around this problem. So one thing that I know for sure is that if I did convert all of these dates into a text first, right now they are actually a few of them are numbers as well. If I did convert all of them into a text first, hopefully things will work fine. All right, so let's just do that. So I'm just going to maybe click on the can change type and delete that particular type. And let's just try to convert all of these dates into a text right now. They are of data type any. So I'm going to come to here and maybe convert them into a text. And let's just see what happens. So right now, everything has been converted to a text. So far, so good. And now if let me just try to convert all of these dates into a data type of US. So maybe I'm just going to click here again and then say data type is going to be a date. And yes, I want to add another step. I don't want to replace the current step. So add a new step. And in the new step, you can see that it gives me an error. But hey, I can obviously say this is going to be English US. Press enter. And you can see that now only these dates are appearing as correct. These days are not because let's just go take a look at the error right here. It says that we cannot convert this text, which also has a timestamp along with it into a date, right? And hence it gives you an error. So before I actually convert these dates into a text here, I have to kind of get rid of the timestamp and only then this is going to work absolutely fine. All right, so let's just start again. All right, so I'm just going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of uh, this particular step and I'm at the source step. All right, so I'm going to click on this column and add new column and say that I want to add a custom column. And you know what I'll do? I'll maybe extract the date from this particular field, right? So I just want to pull out the date. I don't really need the timestamp. So I'm going to say date dot from and it says, hey, date dot from from which field so from which column so from this column which has the dates so i'm just going to pick up the dates column from here close the bracket press ok and it just works fine now you can see that for all these values until the 12th which were actually sort of correctly identified as a date it has extracted the date right here but since this was a text and 13th cannot be the valid month according to my laptop's local format it just gives me an error because it cannot extract the date from that which is totally okay. We have an if error with us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say try. So I'm going to say try extracting the date. But if you're not able to do that, and if you do get an error, just give me the, the date, which is as it is in this particular column, which is this date. All right. So I'm, let's just say, okay. And let's just see what happens. And you can see that now it either gives me the date. It's the data type is still ABC one, two, three, because this is actually a date extracted from a date timestamp. And here where it was not able to extract, I get the date itself, like whatever text value it had. Now I need to convert all of this into a text, right? So you can use the data type here as text, or maybe you can write a formula as text, whichever works with you. So here you can say text, this is going to be converted to a text, or maybe I can teach you another formula. So maybe in the same custom box. So I'll just click here. I can say that I'd like to have text dot from so text dot from or whatever uh, either the date or the date as a text so either of these two uh, text dot from i'm just going to say okay and this actually extracts this actually converts this into a text field now let's just convert this into a date format not the indian date format but the us date format and let's see if that works so i'm going to click on abc123 this time and convert that into a using local. Now, this is the reason why I don't do that because I just use the formula on the top to convert it, which just takes a lot of time. So date here and the using local is English United States. So English US say, okay. And now it actually converts all of these dates into the right data type. And you can see that this is 2nd of Jan, 3rd of Jan, 4th of Jan, 5th of Jan, so on and so forth. I can actually maybe rename this column. So if you would want, I can rename this column as correct dates. Let's just also keep this column because we can make a comparison then. So I'm going to come to home, close and load, close and load two, and let's just load this right next to this table. So only create actually table and in the existing worksheet right next to this date column right here. And I'm going to say, okay. And okay. And this gets loaded right here. All right, so obviously we had to convert the data type of a date here, hence it's showing numbers, but this is so far so good. So 
All right, one very important thing in the end. Now, when you convert the data type into a US format, it doesn't mean that the dates will start to show up in the US format, right? It's going to be read in the US format. So you can see that if I'm converting the dates into the US format, actually first should come at the first place, which is actually the month, M and then D should come at the second place, and then 2008 should come. But it's not the case because when you convert the dates into the US format, it just reads the dates correctly in the US format, but the output is going to be delivered into the local settings of your computer, which is actually whatever setting. So in my case, it's DDMM. That's what we followed in India. And that's what we get the dates at. But the dates are going to be read in the US format in case you have any of these dates. All right. Let me know if you have any questions around this. We had a couple of steps that we had to do. I'd be more than happy to help if you get stuck with anything. Thanks so much for watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.